Hello guys, if you use eloquent observers in your project, I will show you today how to turn off the observer behavior for one specific save of the data. For example, if you want to quietly create a new record without firing any created or updated event. For example, if you are sending emails on new user to be created, but in some cases you just want to quietly create a new admin user without firing any emails or notifications. So how to do that? Here's my example of tag model and we get the tag and we update date. And in our case, the updated observer, which is registered in the app service provider, would just log the information into Laravel log file, which is currently empty. So in the database, we have the tag, which is not 789. The latest tag is tag four. And if we launch that in our Tinkerwell, the result is true, which is returned by update method. We refresh the database, the data is updated and Laravel log has a new line tag updated. Now let's change that to 7890, for example, and change update to a specific function called update quietly. I already used that word quietly in the beginning of this video, and this is exactly how the method is called in Laravel. So now if we refresh, the result is still true. The data is still updated but Laravel log does not have a new line, which means the observer is not fired. And also similarly, you can do that for the new record. Unfortunately, I didn't find in the documentation create quietly, but there is another way which looks like this. So instead of doing tag create, you create the object manually and then save quietly. So let's launch both of them. And for the create, we should have a log record and this one should not fire a log record. In the database, we have both records and in the log, we have only one line, which means, as I said, this one triggered the observer, this one did not. So yeah, if you want to update or create the data and do not fire the eloquent observer events, use update quietly or create a new record with save quietly. In the Laravel docs, they also mention three more methods, which is delete quietly, force delete quietly, and restore quietly, which would also not fire observer events. That's it, kind of a quick tip this time. Subscribe to the channel to get more tips like this one, still daily, for years now, and see you guys in other videos.